They really wanted to go a different way than Eisenhower. It was a little lower altitude, but there was almost just as much climbing. And it's a longer distance. I think that it would have been still faster just to go through Eisenhower. It might be a little easier on your engine to go this way, but I'm really not sure. You know, with the Sonic Pilot, it wouldn't make a difference either way. Just take the shortest route. With that being said, it is at least a nice change of scenery. We are here at the Walmart that's right off the exit here in Cheyenne, going I-80 East. We are going to be rolling out of here. They were talking 8 o'clock, which would get us home, even with the time change, at about 8 o'clock. So we've got basically 11 more hours to go. I also want to show you a thing that I had purchased, but I should have brought a exercise mat, and then I could have hooked it to the tongue of the trailer and used it at the park. I am going to go ahead and just lay down on the pavement and use it. It's a Fisher Traction. They do sell them on Amazon. I'm going to list it on my promotions page, thejohnnyoshow.com slash promotions. You'll find it. It's Fisher Traction. I have a compressed disc, and that thing really does help. I should have been doing it this entire trip. I'm really hurting right now. I've had some real problems with that lately, and I bought that because even after going to the chiropractor, I wasn't getting results fast enough. The results on it are immediate, at least for me. So yes, you'll be able to get it through Amazon. So yes, I would get a kickback from that. So I, you could say this is a paid promotion, but I use it and it works. All right, it's a bit windy out here, so it's really hard to show you, but I'll show you how I ended up using this Fisher Traction just now, just real quick. I threw a towel down on the pavement and I just actually attached the bike rack. The only problem is it's a little steep of an angle but it, I feel much better already, but it really needs to be a little lower, so I'll have to figure that out, but I'll show you what I did. So this is the unit. They have videos showing you how to use it. It's called Fisher Traction. Yeah, if you have uh, back issues and neck issues, they've got one for your lower back and this one for your neck. I'd highly recommend it, especially if you're traveling, so that you don't have to hit a chiropractor all the time. I just hook it on the back rack. And then you lay it down on the ground like such, and it puts friction on the back of your neck. So, that'll make sense when you when you watch the videos on how to use it. That'll kind of make sense, but this has to be lower. It should probably be more like right there, the height of where a doorknob would be. So, I've got to figure out something. Maybe I could, uh, actually, that's that would work right there, I think. It's about the right height, and then just keep tension on it. I'll play with that idea. Anyway, for now, I had just hooked it up here, which worked not quite as well, a little steep, but it did work. Fortunately, I was surrounded by our truck, so no one could see me out on the pavement doing that. If, if somebody had saw me that didn't know what I was doing, they'd, they, they'd probably wonder and shake their head, like, what the heck? If you have disc issues and traveling can hurt you and you're worried about that kind of stuff, maybe check that out. Definitely bring an exercise mat so that when you're at your campground, you can lay it on the ground and do it. I wouldn't attach it to the door in the camper. It puts a lot of tension and honestly, those doors are so weak, those walls are so weak, you'd probably rip the door sill right off the, <laughs> off the camper wall. So I wouldn't recommend that. I would recommend, you know, attaching it to like your, your hitch or something in some way, but the way I just did it was actually a little too steep of an angle. That's the first time I had a chance to try this, to even try it on this trip. At home it works great at doorknob height. So check that out. Go to djohnnyoshow.com slash promotions, Fisher Traction. There should be getting ready to, to load up any moment now. Uh, it's 7.30, they ain't even up. What the heck? All right. Well, it looks like the tires that I had bought when the last ones blew out aren't as good as the tires that actually came with the camper. Uh, I got over at least 12,000 miles on the last tires. I'm only probably at about 
8,000 on these. And it's going. I'm gonna go put the spare on right now before it's a problem. And then uh, I'm gonna get better tires. So I need to get what Jay's got. We literally changed that tire in three minutes. <laughs> He's got a can jack, this is the round jacks. It doesn't take a lot of space, came in a nice little carry thing. He's got an electric impact driver. <laughs> It's so literally, it was like going to his pit stop. We were jacked up, tire pulled off and changed. Literally as fast as Robin could tell Britain what to order from McDonald's. It was insane. We've got that, that tire on, hopefully it's better. That one I got from Discount Tire. Uh, this other tire I got when we first blew out, and this is a Tomax Vanguard. It says it's a D, but it did not last very long, 8,000 miles, about all we got on this thing. I would not recommend the Tomax Vanguard, at least for the Geo Pros, because of how they wear and they waste tires. Other people have reported having the same wear pattern on their tires with the Geo Pro, so it's something related to the Geo Pro and not my camper. Yeah, these tires didn't cut it. I wish I paid attention to what came with the camper. My understanding is they were cheap Chinese junk, but they actually did a better job. So uh, right now I've got a spare that I got from Discount. I guess I'm gonna be getting new tires. So I'm gonna have to do some research. I need, to, I need to come up with a better tire solution. But also I need to just get what Jay has because literally he did this in three minutes. That's not an exaggeration. It was three minutes, which is like nothing. So anyway. Uh, we're just waiting for our food from McDonald's and we'll be back on the road. All right We made it We made it we're live back home You are trash stinks Oh well Really bad <sighs> <sighs> 